Hello friends and welcome back to another Laravel video. Today we are going to talk about Laravel starter kits. We have two starter kits available to us. One is called Breeze and the other one is Jetstream and we just want to see how to install these starter kits and also what they offer. And in this video we will cover Breeze. In the next one we will talk about Jetstream. So the first step is to install a starter kit on our Laravel project. So if we go to this page and then select installation, we have two ways to install a starter kit. One using the Laravel installer the other one is using the composer command so if you have laravel installer on your machine you can use that one which is easier but if you don't we can use the composer command so i'm going to uh, go to this link creating a new laravel application and on this page we have two ways to install a laravel app using composer command or we can install the laravel installer and then go through that so first i'm just going to show you what does a laravel installer give us so i already have it installed on my machine I can just say Laravel new and this will prompt me for the name of the project. I can just call it temp and then the second step is to choose the starter kit. So in this case we want Laravel Breeze. Now the third step here is to choose your JavaScript library or framework because this starter kit includes a bit of JavaScript and we need to choose what package we want to use. The easiest one is Blade with Alpine.js or we could go with React and Inertia or Vue with Inertia which we covered both of these. So for example I want to use Alpine. I'm not going to actually install this. This is just to show you what we get. And you can also choose if you want dark mode for your website so if i choose yes then we will have dark mode by default if user's computer theme is dark and then it will go through some other prompts which we covered in the laravel series and it will install the project for you so i'm going to break this operation by pressing ctrl c and use the composer command to actually install the project so if you don't have a laravel installer we can use composer command so first i'm going to copy this command which will create a new laravel application for me and I'm going to call it breeze app and while that is running I'm going to go back to the starter kit page so we need to first install the requirement for breeze so I will copy this command and back to terminal first I'm going to cd into that project then I'm going to paste that command here after that we can run php artisan breeze install so again I'm going to copy it paste it here and press enter and we see the prompt that we got from the laravel installer so we need to again choose what javascript framework we want to use and i'm just going to use blade template with alpine.js then i'm going to say yes for the dark mode we don't need unit testing and this will install laravel breeze for us so that's about the installation let's serve our application on local development server so i'm just going to say npm run dev on the new tab back to the browser open this page so we get our typical laravel front page but now we have two buttons here so one is register the other is login. So Laravel Breeze gives us a simple authentication system that we can use in any application. So let's register a user and log in and see what we have. So I'm going to press register and you notice the theme is dark because my computer's theme is also dark. So I'm going to add some info here. Also, I'm going to choose a password with three characters and press register. We get the error that the password must be at least eight characters. So I can make a password, press register, and we are directed to the dashboard. So in our dashboard, we don't really have anything except this message, but we have a drop down menu that is using Alpine.js. Within that, we have the logout button, so we can log out and we have our profile. So first, let's log out and we are back to the homepage and let's log in again. So I'm going to choose my information and press remember me. And you notice we have this forgot your password button. That means we have the ability to reset our password, but we can't really test this out because uh, we don't have our email provider set up. So when we are logged in again, I want to go to profile and see what we have here. So we have three sections. The first one is a form where we can change our name and email. The, th the second one is the update password. So we can update our password, but we need to provide our current password and then the new password. And the last section, which is deleting the account. And when you press on this, it will ask for your password. So you have to confirm deleting your account. Now let's open this in VS Code and see what we have. So this is our project with Laravel Breeze a starter kit. You notice first we have Tailwind down here. That's what they are using for CSS. And then we can go through these folders. Let's start with routes and then web.php. So this is where we define our web routes. And you notice we have our homepage, we have our dashboard, and then we have these profile routes. Then we have also this auth.php. So it's an external document 
but it's included in this web.php and if we open that one these are just our authentication routes so register login forgot password reset password and verify email and so on so in the Laravel series we covered all of these and we created all of this by ourselves to learn how they work for instance we have the email verification feature in place we just have to enable it and I will show you in a moment how to do that then if you open your resources and views you notice we have a lot of folders and documents in here so this starter kit uses a lot of components and layouts and partial documents or templates to render what we have on the screen so for example in our profile all these sections are partials from the profile and then the partials folder so if you were going to customize these you have to go through these and find the right document or just delete everything and start from scratch because you have the route you just have to create the views so for example we are on the profile page and up here it says profile so if I want to change that under profile we have this edit.blade.php and this is the text that they are using so if I change this for example to my page now we see my page on the screen and you notice we have this syntax here for the text and that is used for localization and then if you go to your app folder you have your controllers which includes the auth controllers with bunch of documents and the profile controller and these are just handlers for different actions in breeze starter kit now let's say you want to enable that email verification system so all you have to do you have to open your user model and then on the user class you need to implement must verify email contract and go back to register a new user for example with this information and press register and you don't go to the dashboard directly you need to verify your email and then you would be able to access your dashboard so this is basically Laravel Breeze and you notice we have all these documents that I think is too much for a beginner and I always prefer to start from scratch and design my project the way I prefer so that's Laravel Breeze and they offer a simple authentication system in our Laravel app in the next video we will talk about Jetstream and see what they offer I hope this video has been helpful and you enjoyed it thanks for watching see you at the next one